human humanity. And these days, shit is so sensitive. You gonna fucking know. Like, what, what I mean is, like, shit is super sensitive. So, well, I'm, maybe I'm, well, the spiritual people are super sensitive. We, I'm to the point where, and, and I know a lot of people say this, but no. I fuck with you based off of your motherfucking aura, okay? Based off of your aura, right? If I see a dark aura around you, I'm abstaining from you. That's just fucking period. And I'm getting better and better with that. It's not it's not easy because sometimes the closest people to you be having dark auras. You feel me? And a dark aura is like basically your spirit. In in other words, like your spirit, who you are. And and if you are spiritual and you have that eye, you feel me? Your intuition is heightened. You're going to see a person fucking aura. And um, I've been bumping into a lot of them yesterday. One, I want to fucking say, bro. First of all, niggas, the, the, the bitches and, and niggas. I don't care. This is why I say start taking breaks off of social media. You dumbass niggas, stop, start taking breaks off of social media, bro, because it's fucking y'all way of life up. Like, it's fucking y'all up, bro. I can't make this fucking shit up. Like, first of all, the men and women of today, first of all, my black man, bro, uh, and, and it's not all of y'all, because the, the, the spiritual ones, hey, I love y'all, okay? But the, the hood niggas. Y'all so brain fucked and just trifling. The, the way y'all live y'all life, the shit that y'all post is just trifling, nigga. And you're a coward. You're a fucking coward, bro. How the fuck is you out here killing your, your mans, bro? Your fucking mans and then smiling about that shit. And, and it don't literally, when I say your mans, bro, if, if that nigga black, bro, why you shooting him, bro? Over some fucking money? Bitch, get your dumb ass up and go motherfucking work for it, bitch. Period. Y'all motherfucking out here killing each other. Y'all know how trifling that look? Y'all y'all know how trifling and weak y'all look for killing each other, bro? And the police already doing that for us? The police already taking us off the fucking map. And y'all y'all just doing it even more. So stupid. Vibration low as hell. Just dumb. And, and, and I'm just very disappointed. I don't care. Like, people may look at it like, bitch, okay, who is you? Nigga, I don't fucking care. The little following that I have, bitch, I'm going to speak my motherfucking truth. And the way y'all behaving is trifling. Y'all need to tighten up. Be men, not bitches, nigga. Stop treating these women like anything. Stop treating us like motherfucking nigga fucking fuck toys and shit. Nigga, stop doing that. Stop treating us queens like that. Stop, bitch. Period. All we want to fucking do is be genuine and, and love on somebody. And I'm not talking about for me. I'm talking about the, the shit I see on social media. That's why this this video is just basically based off of social media, bro. Any nigga that come in my circle, hey, nigga, when I want you to go do and it, and this is not no slave type of shit. This is not no, no, I'm the type of woman I do for my man. Whatever he need, okay, I'm there, period. So I expect the same in return. Now, I ain't speaking for the women who don't know how to fucking stay at home and motherfucking keep their kids and shit. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm not talking about you only fans ass bitches. No. I'm talking about people, the bitches like me, homebodies, getting their shit together. You feel me? I salute y'all. Y'all y'all are real women taking care of your motherfucking kids. You feel me? In your bag. Not always motherfucking partying each and every other motherfucking day. Smoking weed every day. I'm not talking about y'all bitches. No, but y'all niggas, y'all know, cause I didn't, okay, cause I, I got me a little thing going on or whatever. Y'all need to know my relationship status, but I just want to fucking say before him, I, I didn't, I didn't bump into a lot of simp ass niggas. They were hot. They would literally hop into your motherfucking DM like, Hey queen, Hey beautiful, just so they can fuck. It ain't nothing. And, and don't get me wrong. They ain't even get the opportunity to, baby. You can't even touch me. Because I, I see through it. But I, I'm speaking for the women who, who not as spiritual, but don't and, and wonder why, like, these men is treating them this way. It's because of what the fuck they see on social media. All of these men, bro, like, most of these motherfucking black men, bro, they, they fucking fucking up our black men, bro. And and if you are, you a black man and you watching this, bro, it's time to get right. Nigga, stop posting your guns all day with your little dumb ass. Stop posting pills all day. 
popping pills all day. Just trifling. Like, the way y'all living, bro, is just trifling. Like, I can't make this up. I can't. Like, and and, and like I said, <laughs> I'm stuttering. But like I just want to say, like, it, it just makes me sick to my stomach the way y'all fucking treat these women that just want to be loved. But listen, for my females, I want to just let y'all know, like, fuck a nigga motherfucking past, bitch. Period. Because I ain't had no daddy, but I, I now know how to treat a, a man. Now that I'm motherfucking grown, I know how to treat one. I know how to not disrespect the nigga for no reason. I know how to not use them for sexual pleasures, bro. Stop letting these men touch y'all. Stop, bitch. If you gotta be motherfucking lonely, bitch, be lonely. Because that, that one you need, that one you need is gonna be drawn to you. Stop fucking settling for these bullshitting ass niggas, bro. Because it's just not it. It's just fucking not it, bro. And you deserve so much more. You got to be motherfucking strong, like, for real. But like I said, for these niggas, bro, like, first of all, social media, it explains who you are on the inside. Social media expo exposes a person. You want to know if a nigga gay, look at who he follow. If he not fucking related to that person or, or anything of that sort, if they just friends or some shit like that, or even if, because even if, a lot of times some of the gay niggas be like, they be gay, but they be, like, uh, big on social media. If he follow a nigga like that, bro, he's fucking gay. That's just fucking period. Or he got some... He got No, he's gay. I was going to say he got sugar in his tank, but no. The nigga's just fucking gay. You feel me? And, um... Basically, what y'all got to understand is, like, these fucking elite people, they pushing that gay shit. All of that P-Valley shit. And I ain't going to lie, so it's a little bit good. But I feel like no nigga... No hood nigga need to be watching that. Like, I've been literally been on Facebook and this nigga's talking about that shit. Any nigga that's comfortable fucking looking at another man, fuck with another man, bro, you're gay. And that's just fucking period. Period. Y'all better watch out because these niggas is taking mad dick, okay? They, they are. They are. And they're not going to tell you. You got to read a nigga. That, that's how, that's how, like, how serious is becoming. You watch who the fuck you fucking. Watch who the fuck you're fucking. Because these niggas be carrying shit. How the fuck you think how the fuck you think all of these motherfucking diseases and STDs going around, nigga? Cause these niggas is taking dick. And, and that's as raw as I could be. I'm hoping none of my family watch it. If they do, they do. They don't, they don't. I hey listen, I can only be me. But I just wanna fucking say, like, these elite people, they 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 pushing this shit. On the children, especially the, the the black people, they pushing this fucking this sick ass way of living, this sick shit. Like, bro, like, uh, for instance, who is that bitch? Uh, Lovely Peaches, um, motherfucking uh, what's that girl name? I I liked it her because at first I'm like, okay, she kind of down to earth, but a pussy hoe can never, a pussy bitch can never, bitch, shut the fuck down, nigga. Sit the fuck down, please. You sound stupid as dog shit. You be sounding retarded. I don't care how cute you is, bitch. You sound dumb, period. And y'all tolerate this shit, though. These is the people, they making money off your dumb ass, nigga, for saying some dumb ass shit. A pussy hoe can never. Bitch probably can't even fight for shit. So can never what? Can never what? Get the fuck out of here. Anywho. In, in, in that bitch, uh, Lovely Peaches or whatever, I literally saw a motherfucking video. She was like, my pussy stank. Like, my baby. Look who the fuck y'all looking up to. Watch your motherfucking kids. Stop letting them surf the internet, bro, because it's fucking up the way of life, bro. All of this gay shit. And and I'm not saying, and, and one thing I do want to add, I don't have nothing against gay people. You feel me? I look, the people that, okay, do your thing. But... It's, it's 2020, the, it, it has risen, the, the gay rates has risen, and they, they taking away the fucking way we create life. They, they want to fucking, they say, uh, I guess they coming out with a fucking way that two women can have a baby, two men can have a baby. That's not, that's not, that's, that's the furthest thing from natural I ever heard in my life. And it's so trifling, bro. And, and what I'm saying is, this is not to bash nobody. This is just to wake y'all the fuck up. Like, look what the fuck y'all paying attention to. Take your fucking time off of social media, bro. Because it's fucking people up. 
It really is. Learn how to be by yourself. Learn how to go in fucking nature. And for you niggas, bro, y'all got to tighten up, bro. Y'all need to treat us right. Us women need to be treated right. You feel me? And shit, I'm telling you, treat treat a woman right, bro. And you going to get blessed. The right woman. Don't, don't, don't fucking, I would honestly say like, bro, if you a nigga or, I mean, not a, a man or a woman and you looking for like that serious relationship, bro, you ain't gonna find it on the internet, bro. So you, you can scream all day. I need a real bitch, bro. You're not gonna find it there. You're gonna find it outside when you walking in the gas station, when you going out of town, bro. That's where your soulmate at. Stop thinking, oh, I, I, my, my soulmate going to come one day. All on the internet, bro. You know how stupid you look, bro. It's time, it's time to come back to your, your, be humane. It's time to come back to humanity, bro. The, the way, the way y'all let this internet and social media fuck y'all up, bro, it's just sad. And I feel like it's no excuse. It's no excuse because I was lost at a point in time. You feel me? I was lost at a point in time, and I used to, you feel me, get on social media every day. No, now I, I broke myself out of that because it could fuck up your way of thinking. Like, niggas will literally not even tolerate a bitch because she a Gemini or she a Taurus or, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not knowing shit about astrology. All y'all do is look at a fucking horoscope. Y'all don't know shit about numerology, no nothing like that, but you ain't fucking with a person because of what the internet said about her sign. You was a weak-ass nigga, bro. Period, nigga. That could be your fucking next soul, man. Guess what? You threw her off or you threw that nigga off because of his fucking sign, bro. Don't even know the real capability, bro. Stupid ass, nigga. I can't fucking make this shit up, bro. It just it just make me mad, bro. That It just fucking make me mad. The shit that y'all allow to... The shit that y'all allow y'all kids to watch. You feel me? Like, it's become a trend for... These famous people, they know the the elites, they know that y'all look up to motherfucking Cardi B. They they know y'all look up to all of these motherfucking bitches, bro, that's doing OnlyFans, bro. That's prostitution. And I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not bashing nobody. But I've seen so many arguments on social media about how that's not prostitution. It's prostitution, bro. Look up the fucking definition, you dumb ass nigga. Y'all be talking about some us bitches hating because... Nigga, it's prostitution. I ain't never said nothing about it. I just, I'm, I'm looking at the comments like, y'all, y'all trying to take up for yourself, but it's prostitution. You're having sex for financial exchange, prostitution. I mean, what other, what other way can you fucking possibly say it? You feel me? And, and I feel like, like I fucking said, it's just like, that, that's just soulless. Shouldn't nobody, shouldn't nobody be able to discover your body by paying, bro? That's just period. How the fuck you want a nigga, but you out here motherfucking selling pussy, nigga? How? How, how do you want a husband? How would you obtain that? How would they look at you? And you, you, you less of a woman. It's people who got motherfucking kids doing that shit. You have to find your motherfucking way to... Make your money, you feel me? Not not doing that that prostitution shit, bro. You better than that, bro. Period. Nigga or bitch. I don't care. Oh, the bag looking right. Shit, no. It's about being righteous, bro. And, and finding what you love and doing what the fuck you love. And you gonna make money off of that, bro. Don't, don't let this fucking, this new fucking generation, this wave, fuck you up. And take you and strip your real self. It's stripping y'all of your real self. And, bro, it's time to come back to that. You feel me? <clears throat> Especially my black people. Like, y'all got to stop with the killing, bro. It's, it's going to happen regardless. We got the fucking police on our head. We got natural disasters happening. It's already happening. So why do you feel that you need to do it even more? It's time, it's time to be right. It's time to be righteous. You feel me? It's time to try to walk up right. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but at the end of the motherfucking day, I walk in righteousness, bro. And, and and that's what the fuck I stand for. And if you don't agree with that nigga by any means, don't even watch me. But I just fucking hope that y'all motherfucking get it together, bro. And and not even for just the ascension and stuff like that. It's just period, bro. Just the way you've been living, the shit that you've been going for, bro. It's time to stop that. Look at the type of world your kid already growing up in, bro. 
Y'all fucking these kids' heads up. Like. And I made this video because, honestly, I didn't lose hope in my black people. I didn't. But sometimes you do got to come hard and you got to come raw as hell because it, it, it's going to take somebody to speak up about this shit. All of that gay shit, bro, is not okay, bro. And, and, and I'm not speaking it for the people who just grew up that way. Hey, kudos to you. It is what the fuck it is. But I'm speaking for the people who just going with the wave. I'm speaking for the females who got their heart broken, so now they fucking with females. No. 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 Because that, that's fucking up the way of life, bro. Heal your motherfucking self and wait for that right one to come your way, bitch. You want to fuck on bitches because you was tired of niggas doing you a certain way when bitches can do the same thing. Get it right. But, um, yeah, like... <laughs> That's all I want to motherfucking say. I'ma hop up off this bitch. I just hope that somebody just heard me out and, and hear the message. Besides the cussing, you feel me? Besides all the rawness and, and all the, you know, how... Because I, I kind of came on, on the angry side. Like, y'all bought the little gangsta out of me, you feel me? But it's just like, I felt like I had to say something. Because this is not being spoken about. And like I said, social media got y'all motherfucking hands. This is the, this, my hands are social media and they got y'all shit like, turn left, turn right, look straight, look down. This is how they got y'all. Pay attention to Donald Trump. Pay attention to coronavirus. They got y'all, they, they, they got y'all attention. And it's time to take away from that. And, uh... I challenge you, I challenge you to take your time off of social media. I challenge you to start meditating. I challenge you to get back to yourself. Whatever you want, you have to know that you can have. Stop thinking that the shit on social media is just the way of life and that's just how shit is. No, it's somebody out there looking for somebody just like you. You got to know that. But you yo, you in your phone all day, you walking down the street, you might pass the motherfucking love of your life, but no, you on the phone all day. Try to stay off that bitch. You feel me? Find your true happiness. And, and, and happiness will follow. Find happiness within here. You feel me? Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I love y'all. You feel me? I hope that y'all could be smart enough to realize um, what they trying to do to us. You feel me? Turn us into fucking cyborgs or some shit. Like, I just hope y'all just open your eyes. Just open your eyes. It's that simple. It's that simple. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but at the end of the day, my eyes are open. And I see the bullshit for what it is. You feel me? My young kings, my young melanated kings, stay up, stay blessed. You feel me? My young queens, stop being gay, bitch. Stop eating pussy and put that motherfucking crown up right, okay? And start walking right. Be a woman. You feel me? I love y'all. I did what I had to do, and I said what I had to say. Memoro signing out.